This is Atlas Launch Control. We're now at a mission elapsed time of 1 hour, 30 minutes, 43 seconds. And uh, all of the uh, activities on board the Cygnus continue to go well in preparation for the solar array deployment. But uh, right now joining us is our center director, Bob Cabana, director of Kennedy Space Center. And I think, uh, first of all, Bob, you got to, to watch the, the launch live and up close what was your thought is that, that absolutely went off. george you it's know um i was going to ask you do you ever get you know feel kind of like secluded in the booth all the time never getting out to see you never live? get to see a launch i, I know I, it's i was trying to figure out the last time i actually was outside and saw one that was, was somehow involved in the in in the countdown for in some way and uh so but i remember a, a long time ago Jim Womack, who was our director of expendable vehicles, you know, way back a long time ago when he retired, you know, and he worked all the way back to Alice in the Mercury days, and he'd never seen a launch. He was always in the blockhouse. So and when he know, retired, he said, "This is the first time I've ever seen a launch." <laughs> when he was so. So but, it was an awesome launch. It was yeah. just what a beautiful day for a launch, and um, the atmosphere, everything. It was great. We were over in OSB two with the VIP guests. I miss sitting on console. I miss having something. You know, being involved and seeing the data Cause this is more the fun, real time. Fun part, really. <laughs> but um, you know, it was a beautiful launch. The guests loved it. Uh, absolutely special. The, you know, the the first shuttle launch that I saw it was mine. <laughs> I never got to see a shuttle launch before I actually got to launch on the shuttle. At the time, I was the deputy direct deputy chief of aircraft operations at the Johnson Space Center. Yeah. And uh, the chief of aircraft operations, uh, Joel Granny, he always flew over to support the launch at the Cape, and he left me behind to run everything <laughs> at uh, at JSC. And then when I got into training, I didn't have time to get over and actually see a launch. But uh, you know, I think I always tell folks, don't take pictures. You got to experience it. It's an emotional thing, and watching it through the viewfinder of your you camera, it launch. just doesn't do no, it justice. You need right. to feel it sense it, hear it, experience it, and any time a rocket ship leaves planet Earth, it's special. And this one, excellent launch today. ULA, uh, another great job with the Atlas V and great. Orbital ATK, the Cygnus vehicle. We're looking forward to getting the solar arrays out, but mm -hmm. performing well, and uh, some really critical supplies for the International Space Station. Well, we had uh, noticed uh, we had some coverage from the from the beach, and the Canaveral National Seashore really had a big turnout yeah. today. They were able to I was to talking to somebody, and, and they said the roads around KSC, it, it was like uh, during the shuttle days as far yeah. as the traffic and everything with the number of people, and that, that's a kind of exciting that space brings but but you're no stranger to that so no. you know George you've been doing this for 36 years 30, 33 30, years with NASA and three 30, as a contractor well, see, right no, four as a contractor four as a, con four as a contractor right. and, and 37 years yes 37, 37 years, years. That's so, right, so your first launch was an Atlas off Launch Complex 36 right that you did commentary on I think it was an Edelsat that goes was it? back far and I, I can't quite remember for sure, but I think it was an Atlas off 36, so uh, 36A, and I think it was an Atlas. And you did all the Hubble servicing missions, right? I did. I did launch the Hubble launch plus all five servicing missions. So and, and you did the very last shuttle, STS-135 Atlantis. Correct. Right. So, I so. mean, you have had quite a history, and I don't know well. if folks know, but... But George is retiring. This is George's <laughs> last That's time launch. to it's actually right. do launch commentary live on console. And George, I don't have the gift with me now, but I just want to oh, say thank you. thank you for all your years of service and the outstanding job that you have done with launch commentary for uh, NASA and our nation. You're absolutely outstanding, George. Well, I appreciate that, it, and it's it's so much fun. I mean, you know, and I can't think you know when i started out on my career here i can't really think of very much that i haven't been able to do that i wanted to do and that's what's you know really make it made it great and um it's it's certainly it's certainly been fun but uh but now you know i've hit the point when you can't even remember what the first <laughs> launch was it, it's you know back away i remember my first space shuttle one but i'm not sure i remember my first uh launch so that was, that was back vehicle. in 1986 wasn't it sts-28 the uh, 27 yeah, I did 27. That, that, that was the Department of Defense mission, and they 
put me on that one because you couldn't say anything much anyway since it's a secret <laughs> launch. So they knew I wouldn't blow that one, so that was going to be my that was my first one. So George didn't know I was going to yeah. recognize him today, but I could not let this uh, opportunity pass. You've just done an outstanding job, and we're really, really going to miss hearing your uh, your golden voice on console during launch, George. Well, thanks, thanks so much, and I'm sure you know when I'm. You know, re retired and up in the mountain somewhere, when there's a launch going, it'll be hard not to tune it in some way on satellite radio or, or you know, something to see it. Because it's kind of in your blood, isn't it? Well, it's hard you to, know, hard to get you, rid of you it. can take the boy out of the launch, but you can't take the launch out of the boy. So um, that's probably the way I'm going to be after <laughs> I retire. I'm with you. I agree. So, yeah, it's uh, it's it's certainly fun. and uh, But I, I think, you know, for me, the, the highlight has been when I look at all the different kind of spacecraft missions payloads that I've had a chance to work. That's really been the highlight for me, and that the launch is is uh, fantastic because that's how we get the mission going. But the mission itself, some mm -hmm. of these spacecraft, I mean, you know, to be within five feet of something that's going to another planet, I mean, to me, that's that that's is really I know, exciting. It's really cool. Yeah, I, you know, I was in the clean room with the Curiosity rover before it launched on an Atlas V to mm -hmm. go to Mars. And now that thing's running around on Mars and to say, hey, you know, that that's really cool. I'm with you. Yeah, and, and so now now we've got Cassini getting ready to reenter, and, and I was part of that and up close with the spacecraft. And it just, you know, so, when you think back on the launch, you can, you know, you can definitely remember the launch, but then when, you know, when it gets to the planet and you think, you know, I was, I was you know, part of, you know, what yeah, history. working with the test team to get yeah. that ready to, to go. So, so you've seen a lot of change at the Kennedy Space Center in your time that you've been here doing launch commentaries and stuff. How well, I, I think for me it was the, the change in the direction that the shuttle program eventually took from where we were uh, launching a lot of different things, both, you know, our, our NASA missions that were planetary, um, things that, you know, to... Um, commercial, you know, flights, mm -hmm. you know, launching satellites, you know, all of that kind of thing. And then we reordered ourselves to constructing the space station. But when you think about it, the history of the sh space shuttle program, it did everything it set out to do. I mean, did it launch as frequently? Yeah. No. But did it do what, what the things that we needed to do, that NASA needed to do? It, it did. And I think there will be whole books written about what shuttle did, oh, just absolutely. like there will be whole books written about whether you know the moon program. Sure. I think when you look at the diversity of the missions that shuttle did, and it was the only thing that gave us that kind of capability, and I don't know when we'll ever see that again next. So, well, so you talk about diversity. One of the things that I say about the space shuttle, one of the most important contributions was it brought diversity to America's space program. If you look at prior to the shuttle, you know uh, Apollo, uh, Mercury, Gemini. You know, it was white military test pilots with a few scientists thrown in at the end, and the shuttle opened the doors uh, from the 5th percentile female to the 95th percentile male. And that 78 class, th that first class of shuttle astronauts, there were men, women, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, military, civilian, and it was open the door to space for everybody. Yeah, and our international partners started Absolutely. participating. Absolutely. With it. So it, it's just all kind of carried through to what we're doing now. So, it's how about the latest direction at KSC with the shuttle retired now as we move into this, uh, you know, public private partnerships enabling commercial operations and uh, still working on SLS and Orion to get us beyond planet Earth? Well, I think my thought on it is, is the, the, the commercial aspect is kind of a a logical evolution for us at this point but if i look you know if i was going to be here another 15 years what would i like to be to work on and and i the space launch system is very attractive Isn't very it, you tantalizing know, we are it's going I, I mean it just i look at the infrastructure that we're putting in place and I, I look at the crawler transporter that has been upgraded to support the heavier weights and everything i see the high bay i see the mobile launcher i look at the launch pad that's going to be complete here in august and i say that that mobile launcher that crawler transporter it's going to roll out that pathway to pad b it's going to take us to Mars. That's going to be the beginning of an awesome trip. You know, when it rolls out of the VAB with that rocket on it, that is just amazing to think that we're actually enabling that. And, and you know, I kind of experienced that when we were first getting ready for shuttle, and we did a lot of these yeah. things to get 
get the shuttle ready, to get the vehicle assembly building ready. When we had our first rollout, I think it was on the on the fourth of July, if I'm mm-hmm. not mistaken. But at any rate, that it's the same kind of thing. We'll go through with space law system. It's you know, I could start my whole career I over again. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> right. I, I'm with you. I can't wait. I'm not dead yeah. yet. I got a few no. more years left. Now I'm hanging in there. I want to mm-hmm. see this. Yeah. So that, so so that's the well, would be George. Be fun. So. Thank you for having me on console with you. Thank you. It's very always much a for pleasure and an honor. It's one I'm going to remember. I got <laughs> to speak with the George <laughs> Diller. <laughs> Thanks, George. Thanks so much. So and and it's been fun. You know for. for this mission you know to go out on this one you know working with um, orbital atk is just wonderful because Excellent. they are so orient oriented toward their, their mindset toward getting the message out that yep. we're trying to convey about what we can do in space and and how commercial space can contribute to that Agreed. so they've been wonderful to work through all the way through these um, ones that they've done down here at the cape so uh, so i'm glad i'm going out on this one to, i know <laughs> right all right Thank you very much. Thank you, Bob George. Bob our center director at Kennedy Space Center. And we're now at a mission elapsed time of 1 hour, 41 minutes, 30 seconds. This is Atlas Launch Control.